Jessica Penne versus Zoila Frosto. You know, Zoila coming in with a lot of hype off that knockout over Rosie Sexton, but Jessica Penne flying under the radar, but she's number five and undefeated. She's a great fighter. We now send it inside the Bellator cage to Michael Williams. And now the first fighter set and ready to make her way to the cage fighting out of the red corner, Jessica Penne. Five years ago, Jessica Penne had no combat sports or martial arts experience. Tonight she enters this bout as an undefeated fighter in pro MMA. I've prepared for this fight the best that I can and I'm not going to feel out of my element. I feel that my strongest attribute inside the cage is my composure. Um, in any situation, I feel comfortable and I feel prepared. I take each fight as it comes. Right now, I'm not focused on the championship. I'm focused on my fight with Zoila. Jessica Penne says that she is neither the strongest nor the fastest in women's MMA. She feels that she is a very intelligent fighter. And now her opponent ready to make her way to the cage, fighting out of the blue corner, the warrior princess, Zoila Frosto. Zoila Frosto had a dream debut in Bellator when she knocked out Rosie Sexton on June 24th in what stands as one of the top finishes in mixed martial arts this year. I was like, I was a star athlete as soon as I was able to walk. It's good to have a passion about, about anything you do in life. We were all together, we were a good family, we, um, we did everything for each other, and out of nowhere they, they got a divorce. It kind of threw me off. I thought everything was perfect. I thought I was doing everything perfect for them, and then as soon as that happened, I just kind of I started to do bad things. You know, I, I got kicked off a lot of the, a lot of the um, athletic teams that I was on. What I was doing with my life wasn't, wasn't what I needed to do. I went to a local gym, I saw a boxing class going on, and I was like, you know, I've always wanted to do that. As soon as I put those gloves on, it was just like, love. You know, it was just like, wow, like this, this is fun. And it just, it just went from there. Introducing Zoila Trosto! I knew I was coming to this fight as an underdog, and it was like I had nothing to lose, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go out there and, and do what I do best. In order to finish that fight and, and to put her away, I knew I needed to finish her, and I had to make sure of it. Oh, here is he! Sexton is in trouble, and she is out cold! Not out shot. Rosie Sexton did not know what hit her. Since day one, you know, I, I've been shooting for the stars, and, and I finally took one of those stars out. I, I kind of went the wrong way, and, and it took a little detour, but life's better now, you know? You have passion for something, and, and you have drive for something. And um, I, I've never taken my eyes off, off that number one, and, and, and I'm going for it. Zoila Frosto weighed 120 pounds for her win versus Rosie Sexton. Tonight she weighs 115 pounds, the lightest of her career, and a full 30 pounds below her walk-around weight. Jimmy, let's take a look at your inner circle. Well, expect Frosto to come out blazing. She's coming off a huge KO. She says she's hooked on that feeling and wants it again. Penne wants a strategic fight. She's undefeated and very technical. She has to overcome Zoila's physical advantages. Big question, how will the weight cut affect Frosto? It's her first time making 115, and it was not an easy cut. Will it affect her performance late in the fight? Ladies and gentlemen, Bellator Fighting Championships through its partnership with Madison Square Garden. Tonight presents Bellator 25 from the historic Chicago Theater. Brought to you by Everlast and UB.net. We are now set for the third quarterfinal round fight in the women's 115-pound World Championship Tournament scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And now introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, she wears the black at five foot five. She weighed in at 114 pounds. The Muay Thai fighter and jiu-jitsu specialist brings an undefeated professional record of seven and oh. She's got one victory by knockout four by way of submission. Representing sub-fighter MMA and right. fighting out of Laguna right. Hills, That's California. Right. Introducing That's Jessica right. Penny. 
And across the cage, her adversary tonight fighting out of the blue corner. She wears the black trimmed in pink at five foot five. She weighed in at 115 pounds. With a black belt in Taekwondo, the Muay Thai striker brings an impressive professional record of seven victories, one by knockout, two by way of submission against a single defeat. Representing Team Buhawi and Team JG MMA, originally from Fresno, California, now fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio, presenting Zoila Warrior Princess Frosto. Inside the Bellator cage, the referee in charge of this contest, Andrew Sheptovsky. Ladies, Prina. Ladies, you've been given your instructions in the locker room. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves intelligently at all times. Any questions? Touch gloves, come on, fight. The rules in the quarterfinal round of Bellator Fighting Championships. All fights consist of three five-minute rounds, no elbows to the head, and there is no kicking or kneeing the head of a grounded opponent. This, the third women's tournament 115-pound quarterfinal. The bell in round number one. Jessica Penne in the black trunks, Zoila Frosto in the black and pink trunks. Andrew Sheptovsky is the referee. Zoila angling a lot. That's how she started off against Rosie Sexton. It's a good way to stop the takedown. Frustrated grappler. Don't stand in front of him. Body kick to start by Frosto. And hey, telling us in our fighter meeting, once I get to the ground, then I know I'm okay in this fight. Problem is, you got to get there. It always starts out on the feet. Frosto definitely. Oh, good high kick combination. Stand and throw her kicks. Work for her punches as well. I'm curious how many kicks she's going to throw. A lot of times when you're facing grapple, you don't want to go to the ground, you don't throw a lot of kicks. A kick partially caught by Penne. Looking to take Frosto down. And you, Frosto. See here, you see here just the size difference. Frosto looks a lot bigger, a lot stronger than Penne. We'll see how that plays out. Can Frosto's walk around weight 145 pounds? She played college soccer at Fresno City College in California. That was her playing weight in soccer, so that's a natural weight. And again, this at 115, the lightest of her career. You know, that has its advantages and disadvantages. She's trying to be the bigger, stronger fighter, but as the fight wears on, that weight cut starts to wear on you. And, you know, you, you remember Rosie Sexton, that dramatic finish? That was the first knockout of her, of her career. Seven victories and only three finishes. So it's not like she's known as a finisher all the time. Penne fishing for the inside trip. Can't find a good wide base by Frosto. And he's a good strategy by Penny. Get the clinch, tie her up, drag her into the deep water. Knee by Penne. There you see the strength of Zoila Frosto, but Penne popping right back up. Knee by Zoila Frosto. Bit of a stalemate. Referee Andrew Sheptovsky taking a close look. Oh, it's a good way to counter a dynamic striker, though. Keep him against the fence, keep your weight on him, keep it close. Wow, look at the power of Zoila Frosto. Turning Penne around, but Penne, to her credit, staying tight with that clinch. Both fighters have really good balance. Excellent. And good positioning with their arms. Oh. Again by Frosto. Not the full impact, though. Can you see Penne looking for the inside trip? Now, this is what I don't think Zoila wants. I think she wants a center of the ring kind of fight where she can use her range and her power. A good right hand. Oh, really committing to that head and arm. That's usually not a good idea. Your opponent can pop out the back. Happens all the time. Back to the center of the cage. That draws an ovation from our crowd here at the Chicago Theater. Yet Frosta was not originally scheduled to be in Bellator's inaugural women's tournament. Back at Bellator 23, our season two closer. That was June 24th. In the industry, Jimmy, it's called a showcase match. It was meant to be a showcase match for Rosie Sexton. Nobody told Zoila Frosto. And so many of our show showcase, quote unquote, showcases work out the other way. Nothing's guaranteed in Bellator. Sexton had to withdraw because of the concussion. Oh, good left hand. And that opened a place in this tournament for Zoila Frosto, who's now looking to take full advantage. 
I don't know how cleanly that left hook landed, but it seemed to stun Penny, but she did the right thing. She moved forward in close distance. No real calls for action from referee Andrew Sheptovsky. Different styles of MMA refereeing. You'll see a lot of third men in the cage say, come on, let's see something, let's see something. Well, also in the first round, they, they tend to be a lot more forgiving. As the fight goes on second and third round, you see a lot more warnings. In the first round, usually you get a lot of slack. Not a criticism of Andrew Sheptovsky, just an observation. Wow, look at the strength of Zoila Frost. Once again, just throwing Penny to the center of the ring. A kick there by Frosto, but it was blocked effectively by Penny. Final minute of our opening round. This the third quarterfinal in Bellator's women's 115-pound tournament. Frosto not afraid to throw those head kicks here in the opening round. Penny staying very tight with her defense. I think she knows she needs to basically ride out this first round. You know, I don't think she's winning this first round. I'm so far it's Zoila Frosto, but you know she's staying in. She's like I said, trying to drag Zoila into the deep water, or maybe that weight cut will affect her. Driving the push forward by Pene. Pulling guard, going for a leg lock. But I don't know if there's enough time to make that work. Frosto coolly out. Dying seconds of round number one. And we are headed to round number two. Time. 